what up it is fat free diaries february 17th almost february 18th um and i'm ellie coming at you um to kind of check in with you and, and let you know where i'm at um i've been a little offline because I've, I've been a little sick the last few days um but i'm back um i i deal with asthma um and there's been a couple of changes and whatnot in in my system um, wonderful changes of weather. I'm sure you guys can can relate if you're in the northeastern section of our beautiful country. Um, and I've also been very reflective over the last um, week or so. Um, I debated whether or not I was going to share what bothered me um, and what's been making me so damn reflective. Someone made me question the fact that I I do these videos and they judged me without even having seen these videos um, I've done these videos for me uh, because I know that if somebody is watching I am more likely to stay on track doing a fantastic thing because I'm saving my life I'm saving my life by not overeating. I'm saving my life by making better choices with my health. Um, it's about me first because I want to live. Um, this It's really hard for me to get through this topic today because it, it really was close to home. Um, the issue was brought up about being skinny and being born skinny. Um, I still, for the life of me, can't imagine why I would want to be skinny. Um, I don't want to be skinny. I want to be healthy. Um, did I always feel that way? Of course not. You know, everybody wants to be able to wear, um, I remember in the, in the late, um, 90s, the, um, the little chains that, that some women were able to wear around their waist. Um, it was like a like a necklace, but for your waist. I thought those were so beautiful, and yeah, man, I really, really wish that I could have been one of those people to wear something like that. But with the roles that I carried around, I couldn't do that. Um, and I remember in the seventies, I'm giving away my age now, but I remember in the seventies there was those wrap around shirts. You know, they're really sexy and. Um, not even as a kid could I wear that because even as a kid and even though I look back at pictures and I don't see this fat kid that I was made to to feel that I was I I couldn't because I was made to feel that I was too big I remember a uh, friend in junior high school saying to me remember when the um when the running man and all these great freestyle moves were coming out um i remember her saying to me oh yeah you could dance but it doesn't look right why it doesn't look right because i jiggle but you know what my fat ass could do a split you know i can stand with my leg in the air you know, straight up pointing to the sky. That's awesome. Flexibility, movement, this happiness and movement. I remember being made to feel that I couldn't be a dancer. You know, um, a lot of you who know me have always known that I sing. Some of you have known that I, I love the stage and I'll take it whether I'm singing or acting. Um, and now, you know, most of you know that I'm directing, um, I've been behind the scenes, in front of the scenes. What most people don't know is that I used to dream of being a dancer. I used to move the furniture out of the way in the living room and dance and think that I could do the ballet and, and watch fame and do my kicks up in the air and I could imitate everything that was out there. And I even, at 13, oh my God, I can't believe I'm sharing this. At 13, and for those of you who 
think you know me. After this video today, you're going to know something about me. Um, especially those of you who've known me since I was a child. You know, your know-it-all selves didn't know that at 13, so many of you made me feel so fat and ugly that when I tried to overcome that and I auditioned for a performing arts school in New York and I was turned down, I debated with the thought of suicide. You know, they, they talk so much these days about bullying and whatnot. And my heart goes out to the families that are dealing with this. The families that have to go through this and support someone who's, who's either considered suicide or unfortunately, you know, those, those young people who are successful at something so horrible. At 13, I was made to feel so fat. Even though I was maybe a size 12 and that really wasn't so big. That I couldn't do it. That I couldn't be a dancer and I gave up my dance shoes. You know, I, I gave up trying that aspect. I mean, I couldn't be stopped because my gifts were my gifts and I was going to go forward anyway. But um, this video really didn't go the way I, I planned and I'm... I'm going to put it out there because I don't know if there's any young people watching this um, and I'm not as young as I used to be but if you are a teenager, um, a preteen, you know somebody in your 20s and you're still trying to figure out stuff or somebody in your 30s and you find yourself that you don't know jack about a lot of things, know this that no one can validate you. No one can treat you like cattle and put grade A stamp, for that matter, grade F, which it seems to be the really easy grade that people can give you, especially if they've never been overweight, um, that, that grade fat, you know, um, the hell with you, people that do that, um, I, I'm not trying to be insulting. I'm just trying to be real. There's no room for you in my life. If you cannot see past the skin I'm in. Because it might be flabby. It might be fluffy. But it's not what's underneath these rolls that matter. You know why? There are all kinds of physical things that will change you. You may be skinny your entire life. Good for you. Brav the hell out. But it's those of us who go through life changes. Go through depression. It's those of you guys who maybe have, you know, given birth to children. And if you're a man, those of you, you know, you, you put on a couple of pounds and you're not as sexy as you were maybe, you know, five years ago. Nobody, nobody has the right to judge you. Just like nobody has the right to judge me. And I had to think about how I was going to put this out there. Because I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I'm trying to do me. I'm trying to continue to do something so positive. That here I stand before you. Minus 20.8 pounds in 7 weeks. I am not starving myself. I am not denying myself the cheesecake. But I am eating within a reasonable healthy range. I am walking. If I can't do structured exercise, I am jiggling it in the car in traffic. Um, go back to an old video and, I'll, and you'll hear about that. Um, these videos have helped me stay on track for the last seven weeks and I dare you to shake me from continuing to do them by insulting me by judging me by throwing at me that well I've never been skinny no if skinny means that I look in the mirror and I say ooh la la I'm better than everybody else 
I don't want to be skinny. If skinny means that I'm going to throw that at somebody as if your weight was a weapon. I No, no, stop. And stop yourself from further embarrassment. These videos, so many of you have already written to me. You've written me beautiful private messages about how humble me has inspired you. When in fact, it's the fact that you're watching this that has helped me keep on track. And that even though it's 20 pounds and I still have about 100 to go, that I can reach those. And I know I'm going to get there. I will, I will reach that. And I will be healthy. And if I die in between, I'm going to die trying. And I'm not going to stop because you're on a soapbox. And, you know, in a moment of, I don't know, life's reflections, you think that it's okay to put down what I'm trying to do here. You don't have to watch the videos. And if you don't have anything nice to say, I would hope that whoever raised you, raised you better than that. Um, I'm just checking out the little notes I wrote. Um, you know, skinny is a, is, a, is a mindset. I could lose weight. I could be skinny tomorrow. I can become anorexic. And, and you know, that's something else that, that that episode in my life also led to. Holy shit, I was never skinny, but you would never know that I was becoming anorexic. That for 19 days out of my life, I stopped eating. I would take my plate of dinner because I had a mom that would be all up in your business. And she would know if you ate your food or not. But I even fooled her. I would put my dinner plate in the window. Until I knew she'd be watching her soap operas. And then I would come out and pretend like I'm just clearing a little piece of the plate. When in fact, I was hiding what I hadn't eaten. This is a hard one today, guys. I'm sorry. But it seems like I have a pause after every word. It's hard because it's real. You know, this is real. We gain weight, we lose weight. We we lose enough weight and then, you know, oh, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then, you know, you get comfortable. I'm not comfortable. I haven't been happy for a while with my weight. But I'm doing what I am doing. And I'm actively, actively. See, some of you have asked me, how am I doing it? It's an active participation in your life is actively waking up in the morning and saying I'm here this day this day this moment this second if you can't count on the whole day for this second I am going to make a change for me because I cannot fill your cup if my picture is empty and for that sake I I'm just not going to stop, you know, no matter how much it hurts to hear your words, no matter how much it hurts to, to read the terrible things you wrote, whether you feel I'm lying about my life or not, it is my life, um, not yours. I can't expect to know what you go through day to day why you fall into the vices that you have fallen into why you break relationships that are in good standing I cannot control what you do I can only control what I do and you know a beautiful person in my life recently shared this and I, I will start closing up with it you have to deal with the people in your life according to their spirit she went on to explain, you don't go to your friends and tell them how fabulous you're doing. If you know that they deal with a spirit of jealousy 
um, or a spirit of, I don't know, not understanding the world outside of their circle. Um, I love a lot of people who have different types of spirits. It's not that it's a dark spirit because I don't think that any human being, any person born into this world has a dark spirit because the breath that you breathe is a spirit from God and you can't possibly be a dark spirit if God is firing your heart and putting breath in your lungs. So aside from what spirit you are I'm learning to deal with how you are and if you're a jealous spirit then you need to shut these videos off because I'm gonna tell you about my good stuff and I'm gonna tell you about some of the bad stuff too some of the hard stuff some of the stuff that you survive and you gotta keep going cuz you ain't got no other choice you can either be one of those people that you're sleepwalking with your eyes wide open. You're living, you know, this lie. You're just, just going through the motions. And you're just really sleepwalking through your life. Or you can be an active participant. I have so many thoughts firing in my head right now. It's, it's becoming really hard to close this video tonight. Um, but I will learn to deal with people according to their spirit. Especially if I love them. You know, and there's a lot of people that I love that aren't the nicest. I know some people might say the same thing about me. Get to know me better then. You know, let's reconnect. If if you think I'm so off the charts with what I'm doing, if this is wrong and it's hurting you in some way, let's sit down and talk about it. I'm here. But I am not going to go seek somebody who just has a spirit of, of agitation, of trying to tear something down that's being raised up you know if you've been one of those silent listeners of these messages you know keep being silent because if your words aren't positive I don't want them you know I don't need them right now I'm a mother I'm a wife I'm a human being that needs love that needs support like anybody else that deserves those things because I am a human being just like you. So if you need positive support, then seek it. I learned from one of my sisters, it was one of the most beautiful lessons I've ever learned, that you can run out of people to love, but you can never stop loving. You'll never run out of it. And I believe that to be true. You know, I do love you, even if you've hurt me. I forgive you, because I am going to continue to do what I'm doing for the benefit of me, for the benefit of mine. I suggest that you do the same. I've sought my help, and I'm, and I'm receiving it in this new form, this new format of reaching out via videos, but I'm, I'm achieving it. I know that you can achieve it as well. Take care. This is Ellie, Fat Free Diaries, um, February 17th, 20.8 and counting. So let me know if you've lost, if you've gained, if you need a push, I'm going to give it to you. Because I got 20.8 less pounds to deal with so I can help you. If I can, if you're letting me. Take care. Good night.